day back at uni, I'm on the way to the bus stop. Ah, I'm so excited. So my first day back at uni was amazing. It was so nice to see everyone again and be back with your uni friends because you really miss them when you go out on placement and you sort of forget like the bond that everyone's got and the laughs that you can have in lectures and outside of lectures. I really miss just generally being at university and that's probably a little bit sad but I don't care. <laughs> but I, I just I love being back. So today is Wednesday, I've had two days back at university and we've been doing all about our next module which is our poster presentation and I've just been going over the sort of poster that we need to achieve so it's not going to be a physical poster, it's going to be more of a powerpoint sort of poster from what I can gather and it's going to be research evidence based practice. It's all going to be based on one of our case studies which is a patient called Jeremy who's got dementia. This isn't a real patient, this is just a made up patient. So our poster presentation is going to be related to dementia. I'm really excited for it actually. I really like dementia. I like. I think there's a lot of information out there surrounding dementia as well so I'm really looking forward to having a look at that. And then on Tuesday's session was, I'm not gonna lie, it was a long day Tuesday. It was all about, the first lesson was qualitative um, research and the next session was quantitative research and random controls trial and it was just I felt like it was just a lot of information thrown at me so a lot of us came out of the lecture a little bit tired I think I'm glad to be going home and relaxing after that session it is something that we need as nurses though so I'm really grateful for the information that's been given to me I've got a day off today tomorrow I'm back at uni it's my last day back at uni for this week tomorrow I think tomorrow we've got a talk on our leaflets that we've got to do for part of the module along with the rationale so we'll see how tomorrow goes I can't wait <laughs> And I just, I've just got back from uni and I just want to share with you what an amazing day I've had today. So I'm going to start you off with telling you a little bit about last night and my thoughts and feelings when I woke up this morning. There's, there's a point, I promise. So <laughs> last night, I had the day off yesterday, so towards the end of last night, before I fell asleep, I thought, I know, I'll do some research. Because I had this crazy moment in my head where I thought, I've got to just start researching before I go to sleep. So um, I got my laptop out, I went on to Sinal. If you don't know what Sinal is, it's just a database that searches all different types of journals, research, all sort of things like that. It's just a brief lowdown of what it is. So I went on to the Sinal to do a search. So I wanted to do some search for the poster that we've been given. So I went onto the computer, I typed in dementia and there's like different boxes. It's hard to explain it now for a video. Basically on Sinal you have three different boxes. So you've got your main search box and then you've got the and and then and. So you can search all different things. And I thought this is the way I've always done it. So I've always put in the top bar my main subject and then underneath um, subjects that I want to include. So dementia with malnutrition, dementia of food, dementia eating. This is what I was searching last night. And it was coming up, no results, no results. Or one result. I was there, I was really, I was tearing my hair. I was like, there cannot be no information about dementia and eating or dementia and malnutrition or dementia and nutrition. That just is impossible. It baffles me. I was getting so frustrated. I was blaming it on Sinal. I was like, I'm gonna say sorry now, Sinal. I closed my laptop, gave up for the night. I thought, do you know what? I'll try fresh tomorrow. So I slept on it. I didn't sleep very well. I had nightmares about researching, which is very rare. Very rare I get stressed about things. And so I woke up this morning panicking and I was thinking, gosh, this is gonna be so hard. This is harder than I imagined it to be, actually. Initially I thought, this is gonna be easy, supposed to presentation, I'm really enjoying this. But now when I'm thinking about it, when I'm trying to do some research on it and I'm not getting any results back, I'm really panicking. And then, so today, 
I went to university, we had a fabulous lecture, we had a lecture all about the leaflet side of it that we have to produce, so we have to produce this leaflet, I haven't spoke to you about this yet, but we have to produce a leaflet, so based around mother and baby, and types of things, and health promotion and things like that, and we've got to do a leaflet with a rationale why you're chosen these why you've chosen those things for your leaflet basically so that I'm really excited for I'm on that I can do that no problem I love to get creative so I can't wait for that so then after that session myself and group of university friends we all decided we'll go into the library and we'll just get a bit of help because a couple of people wanted to know more about the qualitative and quantitative types of researches so they wanted a bit more information on that sort of thing so we went in for that initially and I said actually I really need your help because last night I had a terrible time on Sinal and it wasn't giving me any results and I need to know what I'm doing wrong. It's got to be something that I'm doing because there's no way there's no results. So she sat me down she's like yep come on then let's do that and she said okay so you search this subject in the big main heading like I was doing. Press search, get that search logged in and then you do a fresh search for your next subject. I was like, what? What are you talking about? She's like, yeah, do this fresh search. So search dementia first, then search malnutrition second. And then if you want to really narrow it down, put in things like UK, whatever. And at the end result, you've got your main page and then you've got this section that's got all your search results. And then you can tick each search result. So you can tick dementia and malnutrition. And then you click a little section, this magic button of wonder that you click and all your results just appear and it came up i had 116 results i was like yes this is amazing like she just opened this whole new world to me and i was like thank you so much like, i'm so grateful to the library team at birmingham city university for this it's just opened a whole new world for me in researching so i'm proper chuffed i can't wait to actually get down and gritty with this poster now and do some proper research knowing that i could find results yeah then after that I met up with my, my poster group, we all sat down, we all worked really well together and I'm not just saying that just for the sake of saying that, we, we all seem really on the ball, we're all motivated, we all want the exact same thing which is rare when you put a group of people that don't even know each other together into a group, you never know what you're going to get so for us to all bond from the off go and all say okay this is what we want, this is what we want, yes thank you, I'm really grateful for my team. We all sat down, we had a think, we used the PEO and the PICO tool, basically tools that you use to generate the question for your research. So we used those tools, which and it was just amazing. We used these tools and we put in what we wanted in each section. We're like, we've got, we've got a question. <laughs> like, we've been here for an hour. We've got our question. We're sorted. We're halfway there, guys. We're halfway through this poster. <laughs> I say halfway, we've got a little bit longer than that. But now we can get on the research, we can find out what sort of research it is. Our question might just adjust slightly depending on what sort of re research we find. That's my gist that I'm getting at the minute. It's gonna be amazing. I'm so happy now. I'm Like the stress has just been lifted just from this one library session and finding it, meeting up with my team, coming together and just getting a, a good result today. I, I couldn't be happier. And now, I've got four days off and I'm gonna produce my leaflet. I think I'm definitely, I'm gonna get my leaflet out of the way this weekend. I've got until Tuesday. And the leaflet to me is quite straightforward in my head. So I'm hoping I'm not gonna struggle with it. I don't think I'll come to any obstacles with my leaflet. I've had a fabulous week. I've had a mixture of emotions um, this week. A bit of worry, I suppose, from my last night's stress and meltdown. It's turned around and now I feel ready. I feel ready for this module can't wait to get it done i'm on it i'm organized i'm gonna get organized from the, the get-go and we're just gonna smash it it's gonna be amazing so let's see what i do over the weekend so today is saturday and i've decided to crack on with my leaflet part of the module i've completed the leaflet part of it it's just the rationale that i'm really struggling with at the minute i'm just gonna show you a few things so i've got all this searching 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 i've got so many pages searching for breastfeeding you know breast benefits of breastfeeding problems and issues with breastfeeding anything related to breastfeeding and although there's a lot of stuff here it's not what i'm looking for if that makes sense so i'm struggling to find proper evidence-based practice on actual breastfeeding benefits and things and 
I'm struggling. So I think, I mean, I've been on it all day. It's six o'clock in the evening now. Um, I'll give you a sneak peek of my leaflet. This has got to be a super sneak peek so I don't want anyone copy me. Ding! And the second page, ding! There it is! I'm happy with my leaflet to be honest. It looks good. It's exactly what it says on the tin so I think I meet all the criteria for the leaflet. It's just this rationale so I'm going to give it a rest for today, get back on it tomorrow and hopefully finish the rationale by the end of tomorrow and then I can have Monday all day to myself and not do a single thing. So I'm taking a break, I'm closing the laptop and now I'm going to do my board. It's all ready. I've just got rid of all of the previous revision from the board and now I'm going to make it look pretty again. schedules here this is my three-year schedule and this is my schedule for the end of this year's modules look full on so I'm just gonna stick them on my board now guarding all of the plants from the slugs that have just appeared from the rain. It's time to get back to my leaflet for the rest of my Sunday. I hope everyone has a great bank holiday and I'll see you next week.